Mills Farm. Well, spring is well and truly upon us now, and uh, with the uh, life of newborn lambs, uh, which I will bring you some footage of later on, and hopefully we'll have to, we better give you some footage of a live birth, live birth as well. But I just want to take you away from livestock just at the moment because you've also got other things to consider other than just your livestock and one of them is how are you going to feed them and primarily through the summer period you'd feed them on grass. It's now time to look at managing your uh, of uh, grassland you've got available to yourselves there's uh, you know, whether you're just gonna let them graze and buy your hay in or whether you're gonna you've got enough land to be able to uh, grow the grass uh, cut it and bale it and obviously use that for your winter winter feed as well um, now I'm just going to show you something that we're looking at on this particular plot. This is the site that we inherited. It hasn't been managed for years, so the grass is as it should be. So what we're going to do is just try and get it back into some manageable thing and hopefully we can get a crop of hay off in the spring, uh, like you know, early summer as well, uh, throughout later summer for the, the uh, sheep as well. But if you just like to come down here, I'll just show you uh, one of the things we're going to be looking at. Um, you can see there, there's like a mat of moss. Basically what that's doing is suppressing the growth of new grass. Um, and we need to get rid of this because you can see there, as we pull it away, you can see the soil. And that is stopping new shoots of grass growing through. So what we need to do is we need to get this moss out. And one of the ways you can do it is going over with uh, what they call chain harrows. And basically that's a set of long chains that you attach to the back of your tractor and run through your field. And basically all it does is it combs it out and then you've got your surface of your soil exposed to the sunlight, air, moisture, and hopefully we'll get some grass coming through, new shoots. Now, we're going to, as I say, we're going to monitor this this year, we're going to try that with it and if I can get some footage in the tractor uh, and put the off, that'll explain a little bit more about what I'm talking about. However, as I say, we're going to monitor this and if we don't get the uh, density of grass foliage that we require, what we'll look at doing in the autumn is to either reseed or overseed, depending on the density of the grass and then come spring next year, start coming through again, we'll get grass uh, for, the, for the sheep. So, as I say, the next time round, in a couple of weeks, we better show you some footage of sheep, being lambs being born, hopefully we can show you live lambing, um, and uh, until then, uh, we'll, uh, we'll say bye for